Welcome back to the channel everybody. We're here with an exclusive Madden 22 gameplay before the game is released. Now this video is presented by the EA Game Changers as they've allowed me to capture this footage from my home. We're here on the second channel so if this is your first time ever finding me on this video, I do have a main channel where I do a ton more daily content. I'll have that linked below in the pinned comment. But I just wanted to kind of hop into a laid back game and just give you guys my thoughts, early thoughts on Madden 22. I wanted to use the Eagles because I wanted to get some Devonta Smith action, the Heisman winner. I think he's going to have a pretty good rookie season. I think he's going to get a lot of chances with the Eagles, get a lot of receptions, get a lot of targets, and be able to make a lot of plays. And he's getting one right now to the back pylon. I bet he's going to make plays like that all year long. He was just destroying college football last year. There was not a single game it felt like where he wasn't going absolutely nuts. So yeah, so far I'm enjoying Madden 22, but it's easy to enjoy it in the early stages right now when I'm not online, I'm not playing against other people, I'm kind of just feeling the game out and testing it out. Once the game is out for a little bit and people start finding the little things that are broken, that's really what kind of determines how I'm going to ultimately feel about the game. But I do feel like this year they made a pretty big effort to put some changes in the game more so than they have in probably, I don't know, the last 10 years. I mean, they did a ton of stuff for franchise. On next gen, they did a good job, I think, with the game day environment stuff like the momentum, the home field advantages. We're knocking the ball loose from Zeke. I mean, we're just laying the lumber out there. That's just not how the Cowboys want to start their season at all. But yeah, they did a lot of stuff with the game day, the crowds, the environments, the momentum, the home field advantage, which I really do like. I think it does add a bit more immersion to the game and a nice new element to the game that you have to kind of be aware of. So far, I'm finding the gameplay pretty smooth, but of course, there's some issues like coverage for one. It seems kind of buggy in a lot of areas like cover two zones are really bad which you might see if you're watching other gameplays throughout this week you might notice that like the cover two deep zones kind of react a little weird i know that there's certain things that they said is being addressed on the day one patch of the game or however that rolls out the first week of the game but I mean we know coverage has kind of been kind of buggy and Madden for a while so I'm not expecting it to be perfect because we throw it to the back of the end zone and the pass gets broken up but yeah coverages are a little iffy um obviously there's still issues with like warping here or there there's still some issues with pursuit not being the best it's kind of just typical Madden as we hit Dallas Goddard in the back of the end zone keeping his feet in bounds but yeah, I mean, there, there's still those issues, but I think on next gen, because this is what I'm playing, it definitely just feels overall smoother. There's definitely less warping than what I'm used to, a little bit less clipping than what I'm used to. It still exists. It's still there. Dallas Goddard, by the way, that's the worst touchdown celebration I ever saw. And we're knocking the ball loose again. I mean, like, come on, Dallas. Like, I promise you I'm not playing on like a super easy difficulty or I have the fumbles turned up. Dallas is just selling right now. I, I don't know what to say. I, I, I didn't want them to, to play like that. I wanted them to give me a little bit of run for my money but it's just not happening and you can see we do have the momentum maxed out and one of the m factors is that i think we it's called high and tight which means we can't fumble the ball because we have that active so that's why i was able to take a hit with jalen hurts and not actually fumble the ball as devonta smith is getting some more action so far having a pretty good game but yeah, I mean, gameplay, like I said, so far, it feels pretty smooth on next gen because they do have the next gen player movement. The routes are definitely run a lot smoother and more lifelike because they take the actual route data, you know, that's tracked on these guys in real life. So it's definitely smoother. The animations are a little better. But again, you know, like the things I mentioned, there are still some issues with the game as we've known the game to have for a while now here you can see the halftime adjustments this is a new feature so you can set your offensive and defensive focus at halftime you might want to stick with what you set before the game or you can change it up if you feel like it's not working and Jalen Hurts on the sideline right there I mean next gen graphics I know some people say all oh, the graphics of Madden don't look that great I don't know to me right there Jalen Hurts looked like a million bucks right there but I mean obviously there's there's so there's other players that don't look that good now we're gonna jump into a new game because I mean clearly that game was just getting out of hand so I'm just going to try to have some fun here and, and just spam the ball to Jamar Chase so we got the Devonta Smith game now let's get a little Jamar Chase action going here my favorite rookie in the class because I am an LSU fan and here he is getting his first NFL catch keeping the feet on the sideline like I said just notice how they run routes on, on the next gen version of the game or maybe this is now considered current gen I, I don't know exactly how that works I just know not a lot of people have the consoles yet so to me it's 
still feels like next gen is, is the proper terminology but yeah just watch how they run routes you notice on next gen like they round their routes out more they run them smooth we're trying to go to tyler boyd in the back of the end zone it looked good to me the steelers lurked it out of the air so now we might have a little bit more of a challenge in this game i mean i'm not playing super try hard or like trying to spam the best plays or anything like that i'm kind of just calling coach suggestions and just seeing what happens as trey hendrickson gets a sack he is a new player on the Bengals this year coming over from the saints i'm going deep for jamar chase and he drops the ball he's selling me out right now he actually had him beat had about a foot on him and we just we couldn't haul it in so i mean we're trying to get him uh, some plays and make him look good but he, he didn't help he didn't help us out there so but yeah anyway gameplay it, it's fine right now but once everybody has a game once millions of people are playing and people are playing online and finding out what works the best and finding all the glitches and bugs i mean we'll have a different outlook on it i'm sure I, i'm just being an idiot right here i'm gonna be honest i threw it up joe burrow like the throw was like really bad though i don't know the throw just felt like super under thrown i tried to click on and see if i can just go up and, and moss them real quick but as you see uh, that didn't turn out well so we already threw two picks uh, it's just not looking good and now ben roethlisberger is trying to like recapture his prime on us and just go down the field and uh, he, he's diamond us up right now at the end of the second quarter so they might be able to get some points here but not so fast look at jesse bates jumping it for a pick six one of the best safeties in the league i'm actually surprised they didn't make him an x-factor player he's only a superstar and i think he was deserving of x-factor you could argue he's probably a top three safety right now he's the fourth highest rated in the game so he's the you know he's close enough i, I would kind of have him in the top three but watch how he played this like these moments i really enjoy when when coverage and ai actually makes intelligent plays like he read that he jumped it it was very smooth it didn't feel like buggy or forced or like a canned animation you get a look at the crowd here they really redid some stuff with the crowd made them a little bit more lifelike but yeah like those plays don't happen that much in Madden like let's just be honest where the AI makes just an intelligent play and, and it happens smooth that's that's the biggest part is it doesn't look weird like sometimes the AI can make a play but it looks like you know you get a suction animation or it just looks forced it's a canned animation right there it was just a smooth interaction and you know, I would like to see more of that in the game. Obviously, every year they're trying to make that better. But like I said, if we're being real, we know there's there's still a lot of things in the game that don't perform up to par, which what we would expect, you know, at this point in time. But when you do have those moments like that, it's definitely cool to see because you don't really see them that much in Madden. But yeah, I mean, I'm going to be honest. The next gen version of the game, I'm still not all the way with the new player movement. I know that it's more realistic. I know that, you know, it, it's less robotic. It's less stop and go. It's less getting up to top speed as quickly as the older consoles. It is more realistic. It's just for video game sake, for me personally, I don't love that. I know a lot of people do because a lot of people say, hey, it's a sim game. They should try to make the movement as realistic as, as possible. And here's Jamar Chase finally getting in on the action uh, since the first quarter. But I agree. Like, I agree. It is a sim game. So, you know, it should be as realistic as possible. I'm just saying, like, for the fun factor for me in the style that I like to play, I'm more of an online player. I kind of like the faster movement. I like, you know, the stop and go stuff. And I'm trying to force Jamar Chase the ball. And that's the third interception I've thrown. I'm just playing like an idiot right now. I'm just trying to force Jamar Chase the ball by any means necessary. Look at Najee Harris just trucking over people, stiff arming. I mean, stiff arming two people into the dirt. He'll probably do a lot of that in the NFL. I think he's going to actually be be a really good back in the NFL. He's, he's super underrated in, like, the receiving game, I feel like. I don't feel like a lot of people are realizing that. And we're knocking the ball loose again. Look, I swear, guys, I don't have the fumbles turned down. I don't have it on rookie. I don't know why people are fumbling. You're watching this. And you're probably thinking, oh, fumbles are crazy this year. Maybe they are. I don't know. Maybe they are. I haven't played enough, you know, to really get a good idea if they are or not. Uh, but we're trying to move it down the field now. We're trying to see if we can finally score. Can we finally get Jamar Chase the ball in the end zone? And we do. That's really all I wanted. I just wanted to get Jamar Chase a touchdown. I didn't want to do anything else. Mission accomplished. It took like two picks, three picks, I guess, technically, uh, to get it there but we finally got it so I mean my mission's complete I can go home happy I think he's gonna also have a pretty good year as well I think he's much like Devonta Smith I think he's gonna get a lot of targets he's gonna get a lot of opportunities and Juju Smith Schuster what a catch and what a dime by Big Ben I mean that was one of the best throws I've ever seen in Madden or even if you want to say real life and then look at the route by Claypool nice crispy corner route again watch how they run it it's more of like a rounded route which is what they do in real life more times than not you know sometimes they hard play and cut sometimes they do it a little bit more like finesse like it's it's like they are planning and they're cutting but they they just know how to round it perfectly to where they like kind of stay at top speed so 
yeah, I mean, they do that a lot more on the next-gen version because that's that's what the route data they're pulling from, you know, has them running. So I, I think it's interesting, but it does make some routes harder to use than on the older consoles. It, it truly does. So that's it for today. I just wanted to get you some nice new gameplay. Subscribe, turn the bell icon on if you're new. Check out the main channel if you haven't seen that yet, and I'll see you guys next time.